Hey guys, this young Malamai you're about to see um, is a video, a session I did recently and I wanted to share this because it's a very young dog and it shows some um, a battles that a lot of you go through when it comes to your dog behaviour and manners and how dogs meet. Uh, being a Malamai, obviously high in energy, a lot of, has a lot of natural drive. It's a lot of dog to take on for anyone and this owner is come to me for that reason, realizing what they have and, and trying to get control early on in life, which you should do with your young dogs. That being said, with a Malamar, it's gonna be a bigger battle than most of you are ever gonna experience. What you're gonna see in this quick clip is a little bit of um, corrective behavior, marking behavior that I do with this Malamar and my dog, Nash. Uh, you'll see one point where I do a little push and you'll see the Malamar sort of hit the fence a little bit. No big deal, guys. The puppy was fine. It sounds a lot worse than it was. But the point of the video is to show you that you'll see from start to end, and it's only a few minutes, the difference you can make very quickly with a young dog when it comes to education of how to play, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. A lot of, you, a lot of people ask me this style of video regarding behavior work and body language in your dogs. So I hope this one helps you out with what you should correct and what you shouldn't. And in the end, that is up to you. You need one tip to remember, make it very clear to your dog what is acceptable and what isn't. You can't have gray areas with your dog. It is too confusing. Correcting a dog for walking around the dog is too confusing. You'll see in the video, I try to give corrections mainly when its head goes over top of my dog or it's just overly over the top with play, jumping over top of my dog and being too excessive in play and trying to tamp it down a little bit. It can be a battle, but it's worth the battle because as you get an older dog, you're going to have a better mannered dog. Hope you get something out of it and enjoy. Leave it. No. Leave it. Leave it. That was even better, that one. Let's go. Leave it. Good boy. Hey, hey that was cool, buddy. Good boy. They're good songs, that's what we want to see. Nope. Good boy. Yes. That's better. Nope. Leave it. Leave it. Nope. I know mean, it's tempting, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Nash. Good. So now I want to see what his manners are like. Oh. Hey. This is the next level we want to get to. Hey. Oh. As usual, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe. If you get something out of the videos, mine or any content creator, it is appreciated. Hit that little subscribe button, turn the notifications on when you do, so you know when I do new videos and you get to learn more. Cheers. waiting for here is what I got to do there is mark any behavior that we find unacceptable. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Leave it. Like that. But what I don't do, I want to do wrong, don't take the dog away and let him go back. I want to educate him. That play is unacceptable. Yeah. Good boy, Hades. Good boy. I can't stress enough how much of this is up. I use the term sliding doors, that movie. Where in life he can go this way or this way if we miss this moment. Just educating him what's acceptable. Good boy. And I know I was quite physical with him, but we have to be with this dog. Yeah. He's got to understand that aggression is completely unacceptable towards my dog. He's being nice. Hey, no. There's no jumping, putting your head over top of him. Nash, here. In a minute though, what I'm gonna do is get a ball out. Now this ball is gonna send your dog and my dog a little crazy. I'm watching him, not my dog. Hey, leave it. Good boy, Hades, good boy. You can come and play, buddy, just don't be mean. Good boy, good boy. Out, out. Leave it, leave it. 
Leave it. Down. Stay. Free. Just watching his behavior. Right. To teach any dog, I have to let him make a, call it a mistake, to correct it. If we yeah. just sit him in the corner, he's not going to get to learn. Yeah. This is like two kids playing and going, hey, settle, too rough. Yeah. Now go back and play. It's such a teaching moment that you can't get elsewhere, I don't think, in many places. No. Good boy. How much better is that? A couple of corrections? Yeah. And he goes, okay, that's unacceptable. And then when we feel good with this dog, we're going to move to another dog. Now he's good, he's learned. Okay, I can't act like that. He's lost interest, that's what we want. Yeah. Just chilled and go, okay, there's a dog. Out. Center. Sit. Good boy. Down. Down. Hey, sit. Down. Down. Stay. Free. Get it. Good boy, Hades. Good boy. Ah, good boy. You see how now I'm less involved. I don't need to get us so involved. He, yep. got, he suffered a little consequence, which is not a big deal, but it was enough. Perfect. Okay, let's go next door. Out. Hades, that was beautiful, buddy. So what we're doing here is practicing a controlled meeting. And this is something that every owner should know how to do with their dog, and every trainer should be teaching their clients. All too often as we see dogs run up and, and just have eye contact and creates tension and things happen, but by doing this meeting, it allows everything to slow down. And we teach this young puppy how to slow down because often it happens so quick, they don't get a chance to meet like this. So they may miss that learning curve where they learn how to smell, check the dog out, she's now smelling him, and everything slowed down a bit. And we get educated because, look, your young puppy may get away with doing this with nine out of 10 dogs the wrong way. But the wrong, the one dog they do it to like that, where they run up, we go and have a bad experience. And then during this young stage, this imprinting sort of stage, if that bad experience happens, this can ruin your dog forever. So it's vital that your dog doesn't get to meet dogs, A, the wrong way, or B, just dogs that you don't know. Don't be walking downtown or anywhere with your young dogs and having uncontrolled meetings. It is a risky way for dogs to meet, and it's usually not a matter of if, it's a matter of when something goes wrong. But you can see this young dog, even after that, First meeting with my dog, and now this dog, it's calmed down a lot. Little play bow there, wanting to, wanting to uh, interact, which is really nice. And this dog's a really good border collie who's really good at correcting young dogs, but never goes over the top. And this is a very helpful thing to do. Have a helper dog that can really educate these young dogs. The barks that are happening there uh, are all play related. I'm marking it only because it's a little noisy, but there's not bad play. It's nothing like the early one you saw where I had to correct. It was very excessive aggression for a young dog. That one was all play. So it was really nice. But guys, practice your controlled socializing. Uncontrolled socializing is really asking for trouble. So try and get together with, with people that you know and allow the, your puppy to meet their dogs, but do it in a controlled format. And then you're going to create manners in your young dogs. And uh, the idea is they grow up and they're well-educated and they avoid conflict. Hope this video has helped you guys out and you got something out of it. And uh, you can practice it with your dogs if you may be having issues.